Here at Inhabit we work with design teams to make life that little bit easier. With the view that there is always room for improvement, here is a very quick overview of our new beta tool, DTS Facade Designer. DTS Facade Designer provides the user with an opportunity to assess the performance of a building against the deemed satisfied provisions of Section J, J2. Its aim is quite simple, to drive performance-based decisions from the offset, adding greater value to facade design discussions all the way through the project. In a nutshell, it enables a user to optimise facade window to wall ratios with realistic specifications for system U values and set heat gate coefficients. Add facade features such as frit patterns and shading in order to generate a DTS result or an allowance for glazing. For those familiar with the Section J J2 glazing spreadsheets, the DTS Facade Designer is a more interactive and intuitive tool that we believe leads to better results. It has simplified and detailed modes to toggle between, with the simplified mode suitable for early concept and schematic designs. It provides multiple building types and locations to suit all Australian climate zones. Supported by a clear summary of your allowance per orientation to assess your compliance strategy. As for the specifications, in the simplified mode displayed here, you can simply lock down each orientation with a similar facade design strategy or manipulate orientations independently for a cost-effective design solution. What can I say, it really is as simple as that. So jump onto the Inhabit website, access the beta release and feel free to feedback any issues you might find until the end of May. For more complex designs, contact your local Inhabit office for further support.